All right, I want to go over just a few of these. Actually, I'll go through each of them, and that way you have an understanding of what it is that we are asking for you to do. So for number one, we have an X value going to a Y value. So you can see each of these, X is reflecting or adjusting how much we do to Y. So for X is one, Y is three, X is two, Y is six, X is three, Y is nine. The next spot in this is X is four. So you can see that it's gonna go three, six, nine. And I notice that it's going up by three each time. So the next value should be 12. The problem is that it doesn't go from four to five, it goes from four to seven. So for that one, we're not just going up three more, we need to keep the pattern going. And you could say, well, in the fifth we have 15, in the sixth we have so many and so forth. Or we can start to recognize some sort of pattern. And we notice that if we take three, which is our difference, and multiply it by the x value, we get the y value. Three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine, four times three is 12, so seven times three should get me 21. For number two, you have a coordinate plane and we have this here. What we're trying to do is to identify the coordinate for the origin. So on your blue sheet, it actually shows the origin and the coordinate point for that is zero comma zero. We want to make sure that we include the parentheses anytime we're in involving a coordinate pair. For number three, we are trying to evaluate. So we're trying to figure out a conclusion to, and there is no equal sign, so we're not trying to solve for x. We actually know what x is in this case. So what we'll do is we will substitute a two in every time we see an x. So we're taking five times two plus 16. Five times two is 10, 10 plus 16, should give me 26. Same process for number four, just a little bit different problem. We're going to evaluate when y is equal to six. So we'll take four times six, because we're replacing, we're substituting that y in, minus 10 and plus six. We have 24 minus 10 plus six, and working from left to right is going to be the easiest way for us to go about simplifying this. 24 minus 10 is 14, and 14 plus 6 is 20. For numbers 5 and 6, number 5, again, on your blue sheet, you should see quadrant 1 is in the top right, Quadrant two, top left. Quadrant three, bottom left. Quadrant four, bottom right. So we're trying to identify and write down the coordinate that is in quadrant two. You can see here, we've got our quad, uh, point there in quadrant two. And so we're going to start at our origin and we're going to move left one. So I can say that my X value will be minus one and then my y value, I'm going to go up three for a coordinate point of negative one comma three. For number six, I understand that it's difficult if you don't have this printed out or you're not writing out, if you're doing this only on your uh, Google Doc, it is challenging. So you can just write them down or if you have a way of highlighting, we want to be able to highlight the like terms. Now what that means is that they have the same variable, <clears throat> so the same letter or series of letters and the same exponent. So some might think like, well, all of these are like terms because they all have an X. The trouble is 
this has an x to the third power, and this just has a regular x. So these are not actually like terms. Our like terms are plus 2x squared, plus 5x squared, and minus 9x squared. And that's because they all have the same variable and the same exponent. Okay. Much like we're not going to include this minus y squared because it has a different variable, a different letter that we're using to represent values. So if you don't have this written out on paper, or if you don't have this on uh, paper so you can highlight, you can also type in plus 2x squared plus 5x squared and minus 9x squared. Make sure that you include that minus and that plus and that plus in your response because that is part of the like term. Should be good. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.